African herbalism is the oldest system of medicine that we have. There is actually a span of over 16,000 years between the Iberus papyrus and the oldest De Materia Medica. So what is it? It's an incredibly intelligent, yet relatable, doable system for the average person. Most of the world's population practice herbalism as their sole form of medicine. In Africa, it is the same way over 80% of the population still use it. It is a system that understands that the body is one. The mind, body, and spirit are interconnected. Many people practice herbalism today as a system of allopathy with herbs, and that just doesn't work. Modern medicine wasn't made for us, even though we were the subjects of medical experiments and the further of research came on our backs, it was not made for us. And the symptoms such as pale cheeks or flushed cheeks or blue veins are not something that you can visibly see on most of the population. It is a system that cares about numbers and systems. And by the time that you actually find an illness, it'll be further along because it wasn't a system that was created to keep the body in equilibrium and in good health. So when you're starting with herbalism, you want to go to indigenous practices and you want to start from the beginning. You don't want to start in the middle and you don't want to leave important aspects out. And then you also want a system that's going to work no matter where you are. It's not about memorization, which most people try to learn herbs in that way. It's about so much more and it's so deep and intricate and yet it's so understandable for the average person. So if that's what you want to learn, you are in the right place. Herbal Holistic Healing is coming soon. It's the first of its kind, teaching African herbalism, a reference of over 75 African plants, as well as over 150 plants in the herbal reference, a chart of over 100 plants, quick guide to all the different organs and systems and herbs that you want to use, formula making, Latin to English reference, and so much more. So you're going to want to stay tuned.